News brief, authorities are working to identify human remains found in Chatmire, north of Denellen. Governor Scott has declared a state of emergency in Alachua County because white nationalist Richard Spencer is due to speak at the University of Florida. The Pinellas County Sheriff has fired a deputy for paying a woman he arrested and her friend $100 each to come to his house for conversation. And for Halloween, the Orlando Eye has been decorated to look like a giant spider web. And that is your news brief from The Source. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. On this Tuesday, clouds will limit sunshine. Not as warm as recent days. Some showers and a heavy thunderstorm in the area. The breeze will pick up to the high 79 to 83. A shower and thunderstorm around early Tuesday night. Otherwise, mostly cloudy. Low 66 in some of the northern parts of the zone to 75 along the coast. For Wednesday, clouds, some sun and breezy with a shower or thunderstorm high 79 to 83. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm Joe Lundberg. The very best in quality is Captain T's upholstery. Hey, this is Dan. Let me ask you a few questions. Does your boat look better with the cover on? Has your car's interior seen its better days? Stop using a towel to cover up those rips in the golf cart. Isn't it about time you had it restored to better than new with a custom upholstery from Captain T? Captain T's upholstery has been right here in Ocala for nearly 20 years, so they know how to make your ride one of a kind. Whether you want to take that classic ride back to a factory look or put your favorite sports team front and center, Captain T's upholstery is who to call. 352-369-1810. That's 352-369-1810. Or stop by their location, 5030 South Pine Avenue in Ocala, just past the drive-in. And of course, don't forget to visit them on the web, CaptainTUpholstery.com. The very best in quality is Captain T's upholstery. All right, 12 minutes before 8 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in this Tuesday morning. Let's look at some of these things in the news. Um, oh gosh, there are a few things here. Uh, hey, where should we start? Um, should I start with this thing? Let me let me start with this thing with the governor declaring a state of emergency in Alachua County. This is kind of a weird story, I guess. Uh, uh, Florida Governor Rick Scott declared a state of emergency yesterday as the University of Florida prepares for a speech this week by the fiery white nationalist Richard Spencer, whose racist rallies have sparked violence in other college towns. Why are we inviting a, a guy who's going to give hate speech? Why? What is this guy? That's nuts. I find that the threat of a potential emergency is imminent, Scott said in his decree. That was from the Tampa yeah. Bay Times. Spencer, who is the president of the National Policy Institute, is scheduled to speak to, uh, Thursday at the university's campus in Gainesville, where college officials are spending about half a million dollars on extra security. You're kidding me. Oh, my gosh. And they're paying him, what, 20 grand? <laughs> they're probably paying him to speak, yeah. Man. University geez. president Kent Fuchs... Uh, tried to block Spencer's appearance, but he backed down in the face of a threatened lawsuit. As a state entity, the University of Florida must allow the free expression of speech, the university webpage said. We cannot prohibit groups or individuals from speaking in our public forums except for limited exceptions, which include safety and security. So maybe he's not the problem. Maybe the people who don't like him are the problem. Oh, so maybe they're not paying him? Because can't you, you know, deny somebody? I, yeah, well, yeah, I'm like God, I, you know how many paid? colleges I worked, Robin? I, I always got paid. And guess yeah. what? If they didn't pay me, I didn't show up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't speak, though. I, we played music. Yeah. Uh, Spencer, who attended the Flashpoint pro-Confederate rally in Charlottesville, Virginia, last summer, or this past summer, returned to the home of the University of Virginia last week. Um, he said at a nighttime rally there, your city has become symbolic for the tearing down of symbols of the history of this nation, the history of our people, of white people of Virginia, of the South, and of the entire United States. Well, I don't know enough about this guy. I know we've had stories about him now that I'm looking at it. I, I am remembering it. So I... Uh, yeah, but that's like... You know, I don't know what he says. So I, don't, I can't comment on his speech or his words, but... If, I mean, if somebody's causing, why don't, why don't, oh my gosh. If he's causing a problem, but if he's out there and he's. Anybody, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what, what, it doesn't matter what emotion they're stirring, I, mm -hmm. I guess, I don't know. 
Just, what do you think? Anybody want to comment on this one? Yeah, but if speakers are out there and they go and they call up a college and say, I want to speak at your college, doesn't the entity that's going to hire them have a right to say no? It's usually the way it works, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's so that's they're, it. They're they're you know how many people, to be there you know to people speak. are like speakers? Mm-hmm. And that's what they do. They market themselves to colleges. Yeah. There's, uh, I mean, I was part of that whole group. You and I were part of that whole group. Mm-hmm. I mean, we went to Chattanooga for that conference. Exactly. That's what that was about. Exactly. Oh, All right. I don't know. I just, just pray that nothing happens. I hate to see stuff like that. But. Oh, yeah. You're not kidding. I mean, why intentionally bring something there that's going to cause a riot? Good morning. You're on the air. Hey, good morning, Larry. Uh, and good morning, Robin. It's Mark. Hey. Good morning. I- I just good morning. I just I just wanted to say that uh, Spencer is one of the lead organizers for um, many of the protests, Larry, nationally. And whoever the money is uh, that's behind him that's threatening to sue the University of Florida, basically, uh, what little I know about it, it's like they. Uh, if you would follow their money back to who they are, they are extorting the public universities into forcing their way. Uh, into them uh, so they can make their their comments. And actually, these are the people that say, uh, what is it, uh, no blood, no soil, uh, our soil, uh, our, you know, the blood. It goes back to Germany, the pre, the 1930s, the 30s, where the brown shirts morph into the, you know, the Nazi SS. And this is happening, what's trying to occur uh, in our country is what's happened in Europe to to a degree, uh, is there? There's an extreme uh, right wing movement which is based on nationalism and hatred and the um, the pushback towards refugees, which all go back to the invasion of the Iraq War. Believe it or not, the disintegration of the Middle East forced all the people who didn't want to uh, become combatants, just like Germans who fled uh, Germany prior to World War II or during the war, that didn't want to fight. Uh, for Hitler or fight uh, against Hitler. They said, let's go to America. So it's really uh, German refugees in that time frame would be no different than Middle Eastern refugees, wow. which goes back you know, I, if to George Bush's invasion of Iraq. If right. I was this guy, Kathy just wrote me, I pronounced the guy's name wrong, Fox. Oh. She said it's pronounced Fox. But a- anyway, we'll the, if I was the president of the university, I would say, you know, take me to court. This is going to cost me half a million dollars just to protect my students. A, I don't want my students to be in harm's way, and B, I don't have half a million dollars to spend on this. Thank you very much. Take me well, to court. I, I would, I would definitely argue this in court. Well, actually, actually, Larry, um, actually, uh, you, a person that you can look up this information. The university uh, has already turned them away once. Uh, so I, I don't know what the latest details are on it, uh, but actually the university did did uh, take them uh, was taking uh, the move to. Uh, I think they've even they've even blocked the location of the speech. I don't know. I don't know who's paying the bill now, and I don't know who's being forced to, and who's the big money behind it. Uh, not to stir people up, but I think you could probably file. You could probably find money. Uh, coming from some very conservative groups. Uh, and actually, for those who don't realize it, the Brexit movement in Europe, also, ha- those are the, there's a Brexit movement in California, as well as Texas, and that money uh, can be traced back, and this sounds crazy, uh, the Brexit movement specifically in California is traced back to, to the Russians. I'm not kidding you. So that's not a joke. And actually, it's a Russian-American who fled uh, California once he, once he was mm. exposed. So these, yeah. these are some high-level things going on, and it's basically all propaganda for a political outcome. So that's all I got. I appreciate Spencer, your bad, input. Wow. He's a bad guy. Wow. He's a bad person. Yeah, hatred. It's hatred. It yeah, sounds okay. like hatred. Hey, thank you, Mark. I appreciate your thoughts on that one. It wow. Sound like hatred. I don't know. I mean, I, all, I mean, Mark made a lot of connections to other things that I, I, I have no idea about. But I just, I just the idea that somebody is going to be so disruptive mm-hmm. that the governor feels the students are going to be in harm's way. Exactly. And so he has to declare a state of emergency, which mm-hmm. frees up money to the mm-hmm. tune of half a million dollars. Mm-hmm. What the heck? Yeah. Exactly. And I mean, there will be knives and guns and riots. Why? I mean, but, oh gosh, whatever. Everybody just stay away from Gainesville on Thursday. All the students just come here to Marion County. Gainesville and Alex, stay home. Exactly. Galen goes there. Yeah. Everything. All right. 
Well, thank you, Gosh. Mark. You had a lot of information on that. I didn't know any of that stuff. All right. Yeah. The National Great. Archives, within the next two weeks, will release thousands of never-before-seen government documents related to President John F. Kennedy's assassination. Gosh. More than 3,000 never-before-seen documents from the FBI, CIA, and Justice Department are set to be released, along with 30,000 that have only been partially released. Wow. I wonder if we're going to learn something new. Yeah, I wonder... I like to know where Jacqueline Kennedy's dress is. I think you know they they say that uh, they took the dress and they put it away somewhere, and it's not going to surface for a hundred years after the assassination. Yeah, there was something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So. A North Korean official said yesterday the regime wants to develop a long-range intercontinental ballistic missile capable of reaching all the way to the east coast of the mainland U.S. before oh. engaging in diplomacy. Oh, gosh. Before we can engage in diplomacy with the Trump administration, we want to send a clear message that the DPRK has a reliable defensive and offensive capability to counter any aggression from the United States. I just, I just get rid of them. I mean, another Bay of this. Pigs. Yeah. You can't get rid of them. You, you don't want to be the first guy to throw the punch. No, that's right, but we better be ready so that when that missile's launched, we'll blow it out of the sky, and then we'll go get rid of it. I hope we have that technology, yeah. Yeah. What kind of harm can that do, though? If you're blowing up a bomb in the sky, doesn't that hurt the people down below? Yeah, but I'd rather it happen there than if it's targeted here at the United States. The swift conviction yesterday of a New Jersey man in a mostly botched bombing mission in Manhattan last summer was labeled a victory against terrorism by law enforcement officials, but they urged continued vigilance. A statement from William F. Sweeney Jr., who's the head of the city's FBI office, said at a news conference outside of Manhattan Federal Court, quote, it's very obvious that this city remains a target. Mm. Mm. That was in the Chelsea neighborhood, by the way. Yes, it was. One of my favorite neighborhoods in the city. <laughs> Uh, Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker says he thinks NFL players should stop protesting during the national anthem and instead speak out against domestic violence. Yeah, just go up. Uh, go, you guys go to the colleges and do speeches, you know. The Republican former it. presidential hopeful sent a letter yesterday to NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell and Players Association Executive Director Dem Maurice Smith saying he believes players are showing disrespect for the flag and veterans. Yes, they are. They sure are. All of them are. And Army Sergeant Bo Bergdahl told a military judge yesterday that he is pleading guilty to desertion and misbehavior before the enemy. Uh, I guess we have to wait and see what happens to him now. Good, he's guilty. All right, let's see. Uh, well, he says he is. Uh, let's take a little break. We'll be right back. This is The Source, WOCA Ocala. Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 963 FM, The Source. Fox News Radio, I'm Chris Foster. President Trump says he's closer than ever to the top Senate Republican Mitch McConnell. McConnell standing beside the president in the White House Rose Garden also pushed back on a strained relationship narrative. We're together totally. President Trump and McConnell do share goals of tax cuts and a tax code overhaul this year. Though hours before the impromptu news conference, President Trump made clear he blames GOP lawmakers and not himself for a stalled agenda. Fox's Jared Halpern in Washington. Arizona Senator John McCain's warning against what he calls half-baked nationalism in politics. We live in a land made of ideals, not blood and soil. We are the custodians of those ideals at home and their champion abroad. Senator McCain receiving the National Constitution Center's Liberty Medal in Philadelphia. Fox News, we report, you decide. Unexpected reactions to smart financial decisions brought to you by feedthepig.org. Well, I finally did it. My student loan is totally paid off. 
I can't believe it. I can't believe it either. I paid more than the minimum each month and soon enough it was gone. So you're just giving up? Giving up on what? The life of luxury. Egyptian cotton, caviar Thursdays, designer everything. What are you talking about? Our plan. What happened to winning the lottery and mastering the art of the perfect mimosa? Hosting galas, wearing enough jewelry to require a bodyguard, vacationing in the French Riviera, and then buying it. I just thought maybe it was time to prepare for my future. You know, set some financial goals, make some smart investments, open a 401k. Financial goals? Investments? A 401k? You are horrified right now. Listen, if winning the lottery were easy, everyone would do it. When it comes to financial stability, don't get left behind. Get tools and tips for saving at feedthepig.org. This message brought to you by the American Institute of CPAs and the Ad Council. Hi, this is JP from Penn Flooring here in Ocala. I would like to invite you to come in and visit our spacious showroom where we have solutions for every style and budget. From wall-to-wall -wall carpet to hardwood floors and tiles, we have an unsurpassed selection of flooring. At Penn Flooring, we've provided quality customer service with a family touch for over 25 years. Visit our website at penflooring.com or come by our showroom, 1201 Southwest 17th Street, just over the bridge. Penn Flooring, quality customer service with a family touch. Buying and selling? Then you know about OcalaForSale.com, Marion County's internet marketplace. But there's something you might not know. I'm Michael Warren, president of USA For Sale. We created Ocala For Sale in 1998 with a passion to connect buyers and sellers and to help local businesses reach shoppers online. On Ocala For Sale, you're just a click away from thousands of deals for real estate, rentals, cars, furniture, appliances, horses, pets, and more. Looking for a job? Our Help Wanted section is booming. Shopping the villages and beyond? Now you'll find great deals on Villages for Sale, as well as our new statewide classified, Florida for Sale. Log on today and post your free classified. You'll reach thousands of shoppers who check our listings every day. Are you a business looking to get a corner on the internet marketplace? USA for Sale can help you reach your target audience in Ocala, the Villages, and statewide. There's no better place to reach shoppers than right where they shop. Let us show you how. Learn more by calling 352-629-1663 or visit us online at usaforsale.com. Pay your taxes, eat your vegetables, watch your weight, mow the lawn, clean the house. We all have stuff we don't want to do. Isn't it about time you did something you wanted to do? Like getting your pilot's license? At Ocala Aviation, they make it fun and easy, and you can start by taking one of their discovery flights. For only $99, you get to go up in the airplane with an FAA-certified flight instructor and actually fly the plane yourself. It's a perfect way to see if flying is for you. And once you get that ultimate feeling of freedom, Ocala Aviation can train you to get your pilot's license. Ocala Aviation also offers commercial flight training for those looking to make a career change and enter the world of commercial aviation. Ocala Aviation is conveniently located at the Ocala International Airport. So if you're ready to start your adventure, stop by or give them a call today. 861-7484. That's 861-7484. You'll be glad you did. I know I am. Ocala Aviation. Call today. 861-7484. I'm Jan Marino from Palm Garden of Ocala, and I'd like to tell you about the Palm Garden Way. We promote individual care, of course, but we also encourage gems. That's going the extra mile, and these are thoughtful individual gifts that make each guest stay special.